victims, two murdered, one still missing. All three cases have run cold. 7 Action News reporter Jeff Vaughn is live in the newsroom with the family's effort to keep their memories and cold cases alive. Jeff. Yeah, Glenda, I called the respective police departments tonight. In each of these cases, the detectives tell me that they are still getting tips and all these cases remain open. For these three women, Chelsea Brook, Chelsea Small, and Ju Julia Nicewinder, who were remembered tonight. People gather at Redeemer Fellowship Church in Monroe tonight. They come here to remember three women, two murdered and one still missing, all unsolved. We just felt that we'd be able to uh, draw unity and more attention if we focus things together um, and bring it and keep it more public. Tonight, three families gathered with a common bond, connected even before the horrific events affected them all. It overwhelms us with the compassion that we receive from everyone through all of this and, and the amount of strength that we gain from people supporting us. Chelsea Small murdered in 2013 after a robbery at a Taylor Cash Advance store where the 30-year-old mother of two worked. Police have no suspects. Chelsea's mother, a friend of Julie Nicewinder's mother. Her daughter found dead in an Ypsilanti apartment. The medical examiner determined the 23-year-old, an EMU student, was murdered, drowned in her own bathtub. Police have no suspects a year later. And Julie Nicewinder's friend, Chelsea Brock, the two seen here at a birthday party. Chelsea missing since October after attending a Halloween party. Police holding massive searches for the 22-year-old, but no trace of her or a suspect. Only this composite sketch of a person of interest. I want these people that know something about any of the cases or all three cases to come forward because, and speak up. Three women tied together through tragedy. Their families praying for answers, hoping for justice. And keeping their memories of Chelsea Brock, Chelsea Small, and Julie Nicewinder alive. Hopefully this will trigger somebody to speak and one or more of us can have some answers, some closure. And we would certainly like to help those families out. There are rewards in each of these cases from $10,000 to $52,000. Crime Stoppers is helping in each of these cases. Call them at 1-800-SPEAK-UP with any information. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News.